Hello, and welcome to the session on DevOps Infrastructure Setup. Here, we will see how you can automate your infrastructure creation, management, support, and event monitoring. The DevOps approach to software delivery and development calls for very close collaboration between development and operations teams in order to achieve short, faster release cycles that can get new applications and new features to your end customers quickly and reliably. The core requirement for a DevOps project is for the programmers and your QA engineers to have on-demand access to your development and test beds that closely mirror the latest production environment. By doing this, a truly production-ready code can be created and verified at various stages of development and testing. It's this infrastructure on-demand requirement that holds back many organizations from adopting the DevOps model. For most organizations, their traditional IT infrastructure was built for stability and predictability, and not for the type of daily responsiveness that is required by DevOps. Let us look at what infrastructure on-demand is. Your data center should be designed in such a way that the underlying hardware and software can respond dynamically to changing levels of demand in more fundamental and efficient ways. You should be able to dynamically leverage pooled IT resources, provide flexible IT capacity, and enable the allocation of resources in line with demand from your business processes. How do you achieve infrastructure on demand? There are solutions like cloud-based infrastructure provisioning on demand, where just by clicking a few buttons, you can create a virtual machine of whatever capacity, whatever size you need. We also have various tools in the category called infrastructure as code, where if you were to provision a hardware and if you were to provision a server and set it up and install various softwares on it, instead of writing scripts, you can now write entire code that will not only set up your hardware, but also install various softwares on it and do all the necessary configurations on it. Your cloud-based infrastructure provisioning includes service management, asset management of your infrastructure, virtualization and consolidation, information infrastructure, energy efficiency, security of your assets, and resilience. Let's look at service management as part of cloud infrastructure. This type of special facility or functionality is provided to the cloud IT services by various cloud service providers. The facility would include visibility, automation, and control to deliver first-class IT services. Through successful cloud service management and monitoring, cloud providers can use service quality to differentiate themselves. Effective cloud service management also helps lower the risk of frequent outages that can jeopardize security systems. Using these tools also supports greater operational efficiency, helping cloud providers minimize cost and maximize profit margin. However, achieving these goals can be difficult in a complex virtual delivery environment where visibility and control are limited. Next, let's take a look at asset management. So, as an organization with hundreds of resources, you are accountable for not only their whereabouts, but also their maintenance and accountability. Paper-based spreadsheets are simply not robust enough to track the items you purchase, operate, maintain, and store. Having real-time tracking capabilities to make faster and accurate business decisions is essential during, before, and after a response. Assets can be anything your organization owns, from print materials to guns to vehicles to IT equipment to temporary shelters. Any piece of inventory that is checked out or stored requires precise management, including real-time location and chain of custody tracking for each and every asset. With the cloud-based asset management system, thousands of data points can be collected and analyzed from virtually anywhere at any time in the field. Tracking assets is all about knowing where all of your stuff is at all times. With all the items that you charge with managing, vital assets can easily go missing, fail to receive the proper maintenance, or even be omitted from reports if they are not tracked in real time. Not only can you virtually track all of your assets, but you can attach documents to ensure a PO, an invoice, a warranty, or any other paper document never goes missing for that piece of inventory again. Let's take a look at what virtualization is in a cloud infrastructure. In computing, 
Virtualization means creating a virtual version of a device or resource, like a server, a storage device, a network, or even an operating system with a framework that divides the resource into one or more execution environments. Even something as simple as partitioning a hard drive is considered virtualization because you take one hard drive and partition it to create two separate hard drives. Devices, applications, and human users are able to interact with virtual resources as if they were single logical resources. With this, the assets or the property, which is involved in providing the cloud services, are actually getting managed. They are getting managed in such a way so that their value gets maximized. Let's look at how hardware and information can be managed and stored in a cloud infrastructure. Cloud computing brings natural economies of scale. The practicalities of cloud computing mean high utilization and smoothing of the inevitable peaks and troughs in your workload. Your workloads will share server infrastructure with other organizations' computing needs. This allows the cloud computing provider to optimize the hardware needs of its data centers, which means lower cost for you. Cloud computing uses less electricity. When you run your own data center, your servers won't be fully utilized unless yours is a very unusual organization. Idle servers waste energy, so a cloud service provider can charge you less for energy used than you're spending in your own data center. When you run your own servers, you need to buy more hardware than you need in case of failure. In extreme cases, you need to duplicate everything. Having spare hardware lying idle, you know, just in case, is an expensive way to maximize uptime. Typical clouds have several locations for their data centers, and they mirror your data and applications across at least two of them. That is a less expensive way of doing it, and another way to enjoy the cloud's economies of scale, thus providing you with the necessary resilience. Of course, security is a very important aspect of cloud infrastructure. The cloud infrastructure is responsible for risk management and customizing governance. Risk management refers to risks involved in services which are being provided by cloud service provider. Customization of governance implies that features of the governing body or admin body can be changed, but these are completely dependent on service providers. Cloud security provides multiple levels of control within the network infrastructure in order to provide continuity and protection of cloud-based assets like websites and web applications. Whether it is in a public or private cloud, businesses need to balance the DDoS protection, high availability, data security, and regulatory compliance in their cloud security provider. Established CDNs have added security protocol within their networks to protect sensitive information and transactions. Transport Layer Security, TLS, the successor to Secure Socket Layer, SSL, safeguards information to prevent third parties from eavesdropping or tampering with the message. Infrastructure as Code is managing your operations environment in the same way you manage your applications or other code for general releases rather than manually making configuration changes or using few scripts to make infrastructure adjustments. The infrastructure is managed using the same rules and structures that govern code development, especially when new server instances are spun up. The concept of infrastructure as code is similar to programming scripts, which are used to automate important IT processes. However, Scripts are primarily used to automate a series of static steps that must be repeated numerous times across multiple servers. Instead of scripts, IAC uses a high-level or descriptive language to code more versatile and adaptive provisioning and deployment processes. The IAC process closely resembles formal software design practices in which developers carefully control code versions, test code iterations, and limits deployment until the software is proven and approved for production. Using code to provision and deploy servers and applications is particularly interesting to a software developer. Rather than relying on a system administrator to provision and manage the operation aspects of a DevOps environment, a developer can write an IAC process to provision and deploy a new application for quality assurance or even experimental deployment. 
We have various tools available that support infrastructure as code. Tools like Puppet, Chef, Ansible, and Salt. Puppet is designed to manage the configuration of Unix-like and Microsoft Windows systems declaratively. The user describes system resources and their respective state, either using Puppet's declarative language or Ruby DSL, and it's stored in files called Puppet Manifests. Puppet discovers the information via a utility called Factor and compiles the Puppet Manifests into a system-specific catalog containing resources and resource dependency which is then in turn applied against the target system. Chef is both the name of the company as well as the name of a configuration management tool. The user writes recipes that describe how shift managers, server applications, and utilities like Apache HTTP Server, MySQL, and even Hadoop, and how they are to be configured. These recipes describe a series of resources that should be in a particular state packages that should be installed, services that should be running, or any files that should be written. Ansible is an open source automation engine that automates software provisioning, configuration management, and application deployment. There is a single controlling machine, which is where orchestration begins. Nodes are managed by the controlling machine over SSH, and the controlling machine describes the location of nodes through its inventory. SALT is an open-source configuration management software and remote execution engine, supporting the infrastructure's code approach to deployment and cloud management. It originated from the need for very high-speed data collection and execution in the system administration environment. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.